James here from GoodGuitarist.com and today we're going to show you how to play Send My Love to Your New Lover by Adele. And what I really like about this song is that it features guitar and it's not just strumming, it actually features a guitar lick throughout the entire song. So it's really cool, it's the same lick over and over again. So if you, once you learn it from this lesson, you can play along to the recording and you can just practice along with the whole thing. It's really cool. Um, other than that, we're going to show you how to play some chords that you can play along to the other part. So this works especially great if you have a friend and one of you can play the chords, the other one can play the lead, and then you can alternate. Or you could even record, if you have um, a phone or your computer, you could record the chords on and then play it back and then play the lead over it or vice versa. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this song. It's really great for practicing and I think we should just get started. We're gonna start by placing our first finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So just count up one, two, three, four, five, and then from here, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna put our third finger on the seventh fret of the next string of the fourth string, so just the next one, and then our fourth finger just underneath that. So we get this shape here. And we're going to be holding that shape throughout most of the lick. And now here comes the tricky part. It's the picking. We start out by just playing the fifth string. And then we do a little, not too much. We don't want to give it too much. If you listen to the recording, and I slowed it down and listened to it, and you can just hear this note barely. I put this note in brackets because it's so quiet. But that's what we do is we go down, down, and then up. Down, down, up. And if you hold the chord the whole time, you'll hear it ringing. And that's not really a problem because we're going to solve that with some palm muting. We're just going to put our hand right over the edge of it. And then what we're going to do is play an upstroke on the fifth string. So, and then we let our first finger off and we play the open fifth string with a down stroke and then we play the low E string with an up stroke. Let's go over that one more time. So we have our chord shape here. We're gonna play palm muting fifth string down, fourth string down, up on the third string, up on the fifth string, and then we let our index finger off, we play down on the fifth string, and then up on the sixth string. So take a moment to work on that, and once you have it down, we can practice just that part together a couple times. One, two, three, The second part is crazy simple. It's the exact same thing, except we're taking our shape and we're moving it down so that our first finger is on the second fret and then our third finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the D string, fourth fret, exact same shape. We just took it over and just slid it down so that our first finger lines up with the second fret. And then we do the exact same thing. So the only part we have to figure out now then is how to transition between the two. And we kind of have to interrupt the lick when it's halfway through. So we'd be playing the D lick, we'd go one, two, three, and then on the fourth time we go this far, 
and then we play our root here, the fifth fret of the fifth string, we play it two times, up, down, and then we do an up on the open A string. So this is what it looks like the fourth time that we play this. And since we play the open string, it gives us time to move our hand and shift it over and get this chord shape. And now, once we've played this one four times, fourth time we get that far and then we're gonna play an upstroke on our root there on the second fret we're gonna play a downstroke on the fifth fret we can play it with our fourth finger it's a bit of a stretch doing it with your third so I recommend your fourth finger and then we're just gonna play an upstroke on the open A string which gives us time to move our hand back so that fourth time really slowly Don't forget to go up, down, up. Cool, so take a moment and practice transitioning back and forth between the two licks. And when you're ready, we can play the whole thing together. One, two, three, four. So I think the most important part of this song is the articulation. And articulation just means how you're playing the notes. You could play a note long, you could play a note short, you could play a note palm muted. There's so many different ways. And let's just hear what this song sounds like without any articulation. doesn't have that feeling so to get that there's two things we need to focus on one is palm muting we want to get our hand just a little over the edge of the strings not too much but just a little and you hear how it mutes the strings a bit but they still make noise if you do it too much you just you kill the sound and if you don't do it enough they ring out and you get so we want to have it just a bit on there. Another thing that we need to do that really makes this song happen and really makes the groove come out is alternate picking. And in the same way that when you're strumming, you're always moving your arm up and down to keep the rhythm, even if you're not playing anything, you know? So I'm always keeping my arm jiggling up and down and that just keeps me, keeps me going, you know? Boom, da, da, da. Keeps me feeling the groove. Well, we want to feel that when we're playing through the individual notes. And I know that can be really tough because when you're strumming, you want to be loose and open. And when you're really loose, well, you might start missing the strings, you know. We still want to be accurate. We still want it, but 
sometimes when you get too accurate, you get too tight. So we have to find that balance and you'll just have to practice this and work on it over time, slowly build up speed. Um, but a couple tips I can give you though, are to keep that arm moving, keep it just like you're strumming, nice and slow at first, and it doesn't have to be too much. You know, we don't have to, if you get too far off, you'll start missing strings. You know, you want to keep it nice and tight, but you still want to have that jiggle. You still want to keep that rhythm. So you could totally just play that riff the entire song through and it would sound awesome. In fact, there is a guitar playing that throughout the entire recording. But if you want to sing this song or you just are playing with someone else and they're playing the riff, you can also learn some chords. And we're only going to need to play two chords for this one. So the first one is a D chord. And to play D, we're just going to hit the top four strings, ignoring the bottom two. And then there's a B minor chord. And B minor is a bar chord. So you might have to work on that a bit. If it's too hard for you, we actually have um, a few videos that teach you some techniques that make bar chords a lot easier. There's a link down below for that. Anyways, for the B minor chord, we're only going to play these five strings. And that's it. That's all the chords. And we're going to use a strumming pattern that has the exact same feel as the lick that we learned. So it has that and I'll show you what the whole thing sounds like before we break it down. Cool. So we're going to play it really slowly. First thing we're going to do is go down, down, up, smack. And that's actually a, um, a strum and a smack at the same time. So I'm smacking down with my hand and then following through with my pick all in one motion. Gives you a really potent smack. And when you put that together with the down, down, up, you get the first half of the strumming pattern. And the second half is really easy. It's just up, down, up. And when you put that all together, this is what you get. play it over and over again. We're going to play the strumming pattern four times over each chord before we switch to the next chord. And there's just two chords, so we just go back and forth. And just like how you can play the lick throughout the entire song, you can play the chords throughout the entire song. This song is actually really simple in terms of knowing when to play what. You just have two things, you know, D or B minor. And with the lick, you have the lick here and then the lick there. Really cool for that, really great for learning guitar. Anyways, now Take a moment to practice the strumming a bit, and when you're ready, we can try it together over the chords. One, two, three, four. So that is how you play Send My Love to Your New Lover by Adele. And if you enjoyed this lesson, I'd be really grateful if you took a moment to subscribe. And if you checked out our ebook, it's on our website, goodguitarist.com, and it's available for free to all of our subscribers. And it's great for people who are just starting to play guitar or people who want to kind of 
build a proper foundation. Let's say you've already started, but you kind of want to backtrack and make sure that you're getting everything right. There's a checklist in it and it kind of has everything going on. So please check that out if you're so inclined. Otherwise, I'd be super grateful if you shared this lesson with any of your friends that might want to learn it too. And we'll see you next time.